September means new car month. Take a look at this stunning G80 M3. Hi, welcome back to Motor Performance. I'm Mike behind the camera. It's Jay. New car month of September. We start to see a number of new cars trickle through the month before. It's actually used to get them before, but obviously with chip shortages and car delays and all that sort of stuff, they tend to be dragged through the month. But it's good for us and content gives us a chance to be able to film different things. In today is this stunning G80 X-Drive M3, delivered from BMW a few days ago. It's now going through our detailing bay, so the car is in for detailing. Uh, front end PPF, I believe they call it the track packs, will be the front end, front wings, and the lower black seals as well, so we can offer that for more information. Please get in contact down below. Also in for IBAC springs on the front, spaces all the way around, change out on the end performance steering wheel, Remus race rear box with the black tips, carbon front and arch guards. It's a pretty much must sort of first sort of setup onto this car, so it'll be a real nice transformation. One of the things we really all like about this is the new dash. I'm sure Jay's already going to overlay some footage or some B-roll of the new dash. It's really nice. Um, I think it's going to probably date some of the older dashes, but it is what it is. Um, also in this vlog as well, we should have Tony in as well for some new wheels on his G80 M3 plus a strut base. So keep watching. And when this is finished, we'll come back and have a talk through the parts. So what do you think of Uncle Tony and Mr. TRL's new wheels? In short, the lottery didn't help him out on this one. He didn't get the Michelin Pilots, his car come with the Pirellis, which is still a good tire, but he's a fan and an advocate of Michelin. So of course, give us a quick call, wanted to change the tires out. We convinced him to change the wheel out, get them ceramic coated, something a little less busy than the factory BMW wheel. We put a set of spaces on just to make it look a bit more sort of squat and a bit sort of square looking. And we also changed the strut brace out as well. The original one just looks too dull and for Mr. BMW, we've got to change that out for him. So slightly lighter, improved looks, and of course it's the MoTeC one. Let us know what you think of his wheels. Right, so now Tony's gone, I'm happy with his wheels and strut brace, onto this car, Isle of Man Green G82 M4, that's already on the M Performance style body kit, now in for HR Springs, rims OPF back exhaust with the black tailpipes, ceramic coated the tailpipes as well, and we also ceramic coated these. These are the genuine M Performance 21 inch rear and 20 inch front wheels in the frozen gold. This car is gonna look unreal. Against the Isle of Man Green, I am so excited to see this one. And then there's another M3 that we're gonna talk about in a bit. So Grant's car is done, it is stunning. You wouldn't know this as PPF on the front. This is a SunTech film. It is pre-cut for the car. The class is the track pack, covers the front end. So bonnet, bumper, wings, headlamp, seals, just to stop a lot of the stone bashing. So we can offer it. If something you're interested in, please let us know. 
This is a real complete car. He's actually sitting behind us in the showroom. He hasn't seen it yet, so we've got to be fairly quick. So just run over quickly what's been done. High back springs on the front, 20 mil drop. Motec spacers all the way around, 10 mil square setup. Carbon arch guards just to stop a lot of the stone chipping. Uh, Remus axle back race exhaust carbon styling on the front just looks really complete I mean this looks factory what a color combination new dash big fan of let us know what you think of all the G80s and G82s in this vlog thanks a lot